Yo, what's going on, Serpa Squad? Tanner here, and in this one, I'll make something I came up with the other day that I think is pretty cool. You ever see those gorge waterfalls? Kinda like this. Well, it's something I've always thought looked awesome. I used this as my inspiration for the project I'm about to make. Let's get to work. I'll use this cylindrical container to house everything. I think the shape will showcase the design perfectly. My vision is to include three separate waterfalls. To make that happen, I'll need to create pooling areas. I have a few plastic measuring cups which will allow me to do exactly that. I'll stagger these on the back of the container like so. I cut the largest one down to a smaller size. Then I cut spouts on all three of them for that waterfall action. I also drilled a hole in one of the smaller ones for a pump. I had to do a test run to see if this would even work. I used hot glue to temporarily secure them to the glass. I applied a generous amount of glue and placed them in the staggered pattern I showed before. I have a small submersible pump and a vinyl hose to make the water flow. I got the pump in place and marked for the proper length of hose. I cut off the excess. I put it back and filled in the top container with glue to make it watertight. Let's see how it works. I didn't know what to expect, but as planned, everything seemed to work really well. That said, I'll have to make slight adjustments to the final design. I took it apart and put it back together with silicone for a long term hold. I applied it to each cup like the glue and put them in the same formation as before. You'll notice that I decided to use three small containers this time around. I felt that it was unnecessary to have the larger one. I let the silicone cure overnight. Let's get it plumbed. I started with a small plumbing piece in the top compartment. I attached the hose to it and situated the pump. I filled in the top compartment with hot glue like before. I didn't want to get ahead of myself, so I decided to give it another test run. It worked quite well and should demonstrate what my vision is. I decided to use seam tape for cord management. I cut it into strips and secured the pump's cord to the sides of the container. I also used some filter foam to create a barrier for the pump to keep fine debris out of the intake. I applied silicone and placed it accordingly. With the logistics down, we'll conceal the various components with black lava rock. As you'd expect, I applied silicone and situated them throughout the background. In doing so, I made sure not to block the flow of water. I built up the base layout and let the silicone cure. I went back to add the detail stones with hot glue. Since the glue gets into the pores of the rocks, it will do a great job blocking them together. I made sure to leave spaces between some of the rocks for moss. There's a large gap on the back that I decided to fill in with geotextile fabric. It absorbs water, which will create a good growing surface for moss. I also went back and concealed some of the hot glue with super glue and lava rock dust. This will create a seamless look. With it all rocked up, I gave it another test run. It still worked pretty well, so I went on to rinse the whole setup to remove debris. I'll fill in the spaces I mentioned earlier with damp sphagnum moss. This will help keep the live moss hydrated. For that I have a combination of various mosses. I always like to use multiple species for a variety of texture. I place these throughout the cracks and spaces to bring the design full circle. 
I swear, moss always has a way of bringing this setup to life. There are plenty of plants out there, but few can stand up to the good stuff when it comes to naturalizing the look of a setup. I topped off the design with black sand. I also sprinkled in some gravel to add variety. The only other thing I need to address is the lid situation. This container didn't come with one, so I'll have to improvise. I have a lid from another container that's a perfect fit. I have to modify it before use though. First I removed the insert. I also want to include an LED ring light. I had to cut off a few pieces for it to fit perfectly. Cut a slit in the back of the lid for the cord. The last thing I'll include is a piece of polycarbonate to protect the light. I put a few dabs of glue on the light and secured it to the lid. I placed the polycarbonate over this and sealed up the crack with hot glue. Here it is, a custom lid. It seals up the container perfectly and has a built-in light. Here's the final design, an enclosed mossy gorge inspired waterfall. I think it definitely retains the essence of what I showed before and is an interesting piece to look at. If I were to do it over again, I think I'd use a different type of stone. The lava rock looks cool and is easy to work with, but I probably could have got a better sense of scale with something else. That said, I'm pleased with how it turned out. I also think that putting a light in the lid, like I did with this build, is something I'll include more of in the future. I'm curious to see what I could do with this concept on a larger scale. I was definitely limited by the size of this one, and I could only do so much. We'll save that for another time. Anyway, I really hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something new. As always, let me know what you thought about the project down in the comments. Until next time, Serpo Squad, take care, and peace.